passionate students. They bring an enthusiasm and an excitement, um, a joy for sort of learning and really a fresh perspective as well. They make me think about my work in a different way than maybe I thought about it before. I could not do my research without graduate students. The safety pin is in. Okay, you can place the aircraft on the launcher. She was telling me about her, um, her ideas with using unmanned aircraft and that sort of struck a chord with me and that, that seemed like something that would be really interesting. All right, initializing the autopilot gives me an excuse to tell people that I'm a pilot. It's a really sort of novel technology to be, that can be used in wildlife studies and I think there's a lot of different applications for these aircraft and to have the chance to use it um, in any sort of ecological work, I think is just exciting. Ready when you are, three, two, one, launch. Um, one of our key things that we want to do is determine whether it is the right tool for wildlife ecology um, and specifically some of these remote areas. And so to do that, um, we're combining this tool with um, some technology on the ground. So we set up little tiny miniature surveillance cameras. Okay, let's be careful not to trample down too much here. We've put these little nest cameras and the sound recorders out and Andrew's right now diving into figuring out all of that data. So we're only at the front end of learning how are the birds really responding to this. We do a lot of really interesting stuff in the field, um, everything from unmanned aircraft to uh, uh, genetic sampling and, uh, and just counting geese and being out on the landscape. Um, so the experience in the field has just been phenomenal um, and I, not a lot of people get to do this sort of stuff. I, I never have a day where I don't learn something new. And like I said, I learn as much from my students because they come sometimes with very different tools and they come with technology. Many of them, you know, that's, they've been raised with them and they have different perspectives. And, and, and so um, I learn something new all the time, especially from the technology side of things. Well, after I finish my master's, I want to go on and get my PhD and get my doctorate. And from there, I want to um, stay in academia and research and just do that till I drop. <laughs>